Hello and welcome to Sports by Compion. My name, of course, is Stephen Compion, and I'm joined here by my fellow co-host, the guy who puts this whole show together sometimes, except for on the weekends when he's drunk. Dan Gill is here to join this show. How are you, Dan? Uh, you know, those are just allegations about being drunk on the weekend. Never. I can, cannot confirm or deny, but... Okay. You know, we brought him another win in trivia. Oh shit! So uh, we're we're getting ready for our big party when we add up all these uh, what's it twenty five twenty five dollar coupons. So I think we're up to like one hundred and twenty five bucks now. Love it, love it. In credit, we got to win the win the big one. We'll win the tournament, and then we'll, yeah, we'll cash they're apparently out. they're apparently going to do a tournament. Oh boy, and, uh, big, big times coming, and we and you've already heard from him. Returning friend of the show, starting to become a regular around here, which we absolutely love. Andrew once again joins the pod, as you can see, five time, five time trivia champions. These guys are out of control in trivia. Don't go against them because you'll lose and it'll be embarrassing for you, and you'll wish that you would have just stayed home. So if you're going to the same trivia bar as these two, just don't even bother. <laughs> Andrew, how are you, sir? I'm good. Thank you all for having me. It's always a pleasure, and uh, keep doing the stuff we're doing on the uh, other days off. I love hearing it, so keep the content coming, boys. Absolutely, absolutely. We're here for another fun pick em episode. We're going to go through the division round of the NFL playoffs. Boys, this whole shit's wrapping up too soon. It's very sad, but, I mean, ha all good yes. things have to come to an end, and uh, we are in the final days of the NFL. The Super Bowl champion is coming. Who will it be? We're going to figure it out. We'll figure out who's getting to these championship games. Let's hop right into it, huh? 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 Let's hop into it. Oh, wait. Did I remove it? No, we added it. Bam, here it is. All right. Starting with the Texans, the team of Texas, the last remaining team in Texas that can still bring some football glory to the football state itself. They've lost uh, their playoff team in the championship. They lost the Dallas Cowboys and they've been the wild card. It's up to the Texans and C.J. Stroud to save the day for the Texans, but man, do they have a challenge on their hands going into Baltimore. What do we think about this one, boys? You know, I I, 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 I kind of want to put the Ravens on here wrong. Houston's look great. They're getting hot. Uh, the, and here's the thing. This is not this week one matchup that we saw uh, against the against each other uh, to get off the season where the Ravens won 25 to 9. CJ, CJ Stroud has grown exponentially since that game. So, you know, I, I expect it to be a little tighter. Right now the Ravens are a nine-point favorite at this time. Uh, but an interesting fact that I saw is Lamar Jackson in the playoffs is 0-4 when they are the over on the line. So, hmm. interesting mark there. Hmm. But, um, you know, I think what they did the Browns, uh, you know, I, we all felt pretty confident in the Browns last time. Um but I expect that game, even if Houston had – even if I felt Houston was going to win it, I felt it was going to be much closer than a 30-point win. So that part I was very shocked about. But, um, you know, they have the tools to do it. I don't know if they've officially landed on what Mark Andrews is doing. I know he had been practicing. But I believe when I still looked at it, they still had a mark on the IR. So I, I don't think they're going to be getting that piece back. But um, – you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, but they've just, you know, we talked about it yesterday. Uh, Houston's not afraid to expand the field. They will, you know, if they can get a wide receiver on the top end, they will take that shot. I mean, we saw it in the Indy game. We saw it in the Cleveland game. They had 70-plus yard touchdown plays on, on, on passing. So they will take that shot if you leave it open. Sure. And while the Ravens do have a good secondary – Things happen. You know, yeah. Cowboys were supposed to have a great secondary. We saw how well that went against the Packers. For sure. So, you know, but I still feel confident. Ravens, I know it's not supposed to be the best weather on Saturday in Baltimore. So we'll see what happens. But um, I expect it to be closer than most people want to, want to admit. Absolutely. I think we've talked about a lot of good defenses coming and going through the NFL. Some of them get exposed, such as the Cleveland Browns. But this Ravens defense, I think, has shown us that they are nothing short of one of the best defenses we've seen 
not only this year, but just in general in the NFL over the last couple of years, they've shut down some of the best teams in the NFL. They got their work cut out with them against CJ Stroud, but I mean, you got You probably got to go Ravens in this one at home. Big game from Lamar Jackson to prove that he can win some playoff games and get in the conversation with the big boys. Probably going to win his second MVP already. So I think uh, I think he has a lot of weight on his shoulders. They got they got all the pressure on them for this one. We'll see if they can perform under it. Uh, I'm taking them as well. What do you think, Andrew? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to see the Ravens win. Let's be honest. I know Dan agrees <laughs> with that, but. Dude, CJ Stroud right now looking like as a rookie that he is going into that, throwing some of these passes that he's thrown. I'm with it. I'm about it. Like how it's going. Um, now that Ravens defense, though, is incredible. And the last time they had a defense like this, guess what? They won a Super Bowl. But I still think that it's – ooh, did that freeze? No, Dan froze. Oh, there he goes. Um, but – I don't know. I think the, the Texans kind of have like a Friday Night Lights thing going for them. This you know is true. I mean? Like they're kind of like the underdog. They're from Texas, coincidentally. True. You know what I mean? They got that true. You know, young coach filling in in a new spot, doing his thing, and that mojo can ride real. Now it might not go in the long run. You know what I mean? It might not go three, four years down the road, but in one season when you don't see it coming, with C.J. Stroud, explosive as he is, playing how he is, um, he's got Nico to throw to. I mean – Anything's possible, and I kind of just want to go with the underdogs here, so I'm going to go with the Texans. All right. Love to hear it. Love to see a little yeah. controversy and, in your picks here. And that's tough uh, as a Colts fan, too. You know, that's tough to, to want them to do that, but I I like the electricity going on there. It's cool. It's uh, they're definitely my AFC team. I, I do absolutely love them, um, so I hope I'm wrong about my pick, but I think I'm sticking with Baltimore just because they're a scary powerhouse. Oh, hey, Dan, you're Dude, back. That, that defense – is just so good, and that offense that the Ravens have too can be so such a threat. You know what I mean? Yeah. At the same time, that you got to stop them and slow them down before that. And we've seen Lamar control the clock too, so it's. I think that'll be just overall. Hopefully, should be a really good game. You know, absolutely. And it's crazy yeah. that um, Lamar's kind of doing that offense with. You know, we've talked about a couple other quarterbacks who have no pieces around them to throw the ball to, and it doesn't seem to matter to Lamar because, like, yeah, no disrespect to these Ravens receivers, but I mean, besides like likely which is kind of crazy last name anyway. Um, yeah. Who the heck is he throwing the ball to right now? Especially yeah. if Andrews can't go for this one. It's yeah. but If you look at them, as, and Dan will agree, right? If you look at them over the course of history, like they've never really had receivers. You know, it's you so know, true. Make it work. Like, I mean, you had like, Bolden for a little bit. I would say like, outside yeah. of Anquan Bolden, like. Yeah. Derek Mason, I, okay. He was subpar at best. You know what I mean? Marcus yeah, Gordon, uh, Jacob, <laughs> Jacoby My was it, was it yeah, Jacoby yeah. Myers? What was number twelve? The guy who had the mile high, high mile um, for, Jacoby Jones. <sighs> Jacoby Jones, yeah. yeah. What do you think? Um, Tell me that not outside Brandon. of that receiver group in 2012, they haven't necessarily but, had the most scary receiver group. You can tell me Brandon and they go Stokely anywhere else. was good. <laughs> yeah. Back yeah. in the day, dude. That, now we're going back a little bit. But no, I think that, you know, like you were saying, like that Raven, like the key is going to be that Ravens defense. If they can shut down that offense. That they just keep them off the field. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't matter what the Ravens offense does because when you have a when you have a field goal kick that hits 50 yards easy, all you have to do is get in the field goal range. Like they well, he's been a little off though. He's been a little off the last year or two. I, but still. It's Jay Talk. I know. It's yeah. Jay Talk. I, I, yeah. I hate admitting it. I love the dude. He's a phenomenal kicker. He's a beast. But, but if you get but it's like, Jay Talk. But if you think about it, like they have to play they they play such a short field though. Yeah. So, like, that's advantage to that. It should sure. be a good game. It definitely should be a good game. It's definitely going to be a fun one. I hope I, um, I hope they can make it – I hope these games are close compared to I, the last yeah. weekend. I still think they'll get a I, – I, I do think Houston will get their 70-some yard touchdown now. Oh, yeah. Awesome. At least in the first quarter probably, yeah. Something, something off the, the – they'll, they'll leave Nico open over top. Go on. Yeah, that's a good idea. Definitely don't cover Nico. You know, he, he, you don't need to. Just let the guy do his thing. Let Nico, Nico. Anyway, moving on, we got a interesting game coming up here, which I think I know where Dan's going with this pick. The Green Bay Packers travel out to San Francisco for a freaking heart of a matchup here. Um, this 49ers team has looked dominant, other than their game against the Ravens, other than when they didn't have McCaffrey. Uh, but they got all the boys. They got all the boys for this one. 
Uh, the, the Packers are walking into a tough game. Now, this is not by any means out of the Packers' reach, especially if they play like how they did against Dallas. You know, they're going to have a very um, they're going to have a very good chance to win this game. Um, I'm personally rooting for the Packers on this one because if they win and the Bucks win, NFC Championship in, in Tampa on a 9-8 and record. You'll love to see it. So I'd love to see that. Um, I think I got to go Ravens here. I mean, uh, 49ers here. I know I'm picking all the overdogs, but whatever. It's, uh, it's the playoffs. So um, you got to think these guys will show up for these big games. I mean, here's my thing. The NBA was last week. I'm not going to act surprised 49ers win this game. Let's be real. Right. I'm a realist when it comes to what my team can and can't do. That being said, you talked about how the Ravens took care of San Francisco. Now, I am not saying by any stretch of measure that the Packers defense is anywhere near the Ravens defense, but I think they showed the blueprint on how to shut down that offense. And we saw that Green Bay defense get good pressure on Dak. They were up on receivers. So I think if they can jam them on the line, if Kenny Clark can get into the backfield, Preston Smith can get into the backfield, Purdy can't handle the pressure. Sure. So if, if they keep Debo honest, they keep Christian McCaffrey honest, and are able to get to Purdy, it's gonna it could be a long day. And hopefully Jair is healthy because with him back there, put him on the number one, and you know he shut down Ceedee Lamb all day. True. You know, so I think we have the ability to, whether it's not we get the right play calling right. You see, now, another thing is we didn't have A.J. Dillon last game. There is, a, 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 I think, a good chance we could get him back for this game. So having Dillon and Jones running would be huge. Like, don't get me wrong. Patrick is huge. huge. It's going to be huge. Huge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just you wouldn't believe it, um, <laughs> but uh, you know, don't get me wrong. Taylor, Patrick, they're great running backs, but you can't like they don't stack up to having Dylan and Jones in the backfield. Mister Thunderthighs himself, I would agree. What do you You're think, Mister Thunderthighs? Well, since my unfortunate loss with the Eagles, um, we are going to be going with Green Bay all the way now. I'm going to support go, Dan and be with him um, on that one, and I'm going to go with another underdog here and. Go with Green Bay, I, dude. There's a lot of fire behind that team right now. Now, it sure is. However, you got Lafer going against Shanahan. Well, we'll rivalry going there. So For we sure. beat him before. If uh, that's what I'm saying, if Green Bay pulls this off, it's that's a big step in that direction. Um, but also, I think if they pull this off, I mean, you're not stopping them in the next game, whether you're the Lions or the Bucks. Sorry. But <laughs> you never know. But I don't know, man. Dude, they're hot right now. Jordan loves playing some freaking lights out football. Really good football um, right now. And let's be honest, dude, that, that, you know, as an Eagles fan, I don't like to admit anything that the Cowboys do well. But, dude, that Cowboys defense was good. And they did, I mean, you know, they didn't have um, what Diggs, you know, Diggs was out. I'm sure that would have made, you know, maybe a little bit of a difference in the game. But, dude, that defense all year was solid. Cheeseheads came in there and pulled it off. So, I don't know, man. Let it go. Let's keep rolling pack. Agree. I think it's going to be a very close game. Again, back to Dan. I'm sorry. We didn't actually get your pick there, Dan. Who are you going? Yeah. I'm still sticking pack. Uh, but right. I, like I said, won't act surprised if 49ers do it. Hey, all they got to do is have the lead by the fourth quarter, and apparently we'll have it locked up. Look, statistics show if you're leading at the end of the fourth quarter, you'll win. Hey, you know what else it takes to show? If you score more points than the other team, you will win. Yeah. So, you know, they just got to do that. Hey, do you, do you know if you get a first down, you move down the field, too? Really? Jesus. So if, you just keep that on, if you just keep on, you know, moving the chains, you can keep the ball? Is that how that works? Yep. Look, I learned that from Collinsworth every single week. Wow. Yeah. Collinsworth, week you know, in, man. Week he's out, he's... I learned that. Ev Here's a guy that you learn something from every week. Look. <laughs> Growing up, I used to ask my dad what was the score of the game, and he'd be like, not enough to too many. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, yeah, this is <laughs> going to be another tight one, I hope. Um, and it's going to be interesting out there in San Antonio, California. It's some nice weather. Uh, we'll see what happens. Packers got to put some pressure on Purdy. Here's a question. You know, bringing up how Purdy's not good under pressure. You know who else isn't good under pressure? Jalen Hurts, apparently. You know, all, you know who else? Uh, fucking Jared Goff. So my question is, 
who is good under pressure because Peyton Manning didn't like it, Tom Brady didn't like it. So who is good under pressure is the real question, I guess. Why don't you tell us who's going uh, who? <laughs> to? I'm asking. Maybe Lamar because he could escape the pocket um, as much as I'm on I mean, the train. Oh, I, I, thought, think Patrick... I thought you were leading into oh, like big oh, No, I, you know, I guess I would say probably <laughs> it's easy to pick the top guys. You thought but... about it. You thought about it. I mean, I guess it's easy to pick the top guys, but I I guess I'm going to say, like, you know, Lamar Jackson could escape that pocket as much as I don't like the guy. Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Josh Josh Allen Allen and Mahomes can do it. Yeah. 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 So the top three guys are pretty good at handling it right now. CJ Stroud can do it. I I think he can do it if he needs to. True. True. CJ Stroud's been okay. He did sit and stick in that pocket and and nail it. We're going to find out. We're going to find out if he can do it this this weekend. (laughs) He's going to have to. Exactly. I mean, Larry I mean, Tunsil, Mr. Bongrip himself, is definitely going to hold down one of those two sides. So it'll be a Mr. matter of. Um, I just like every time that guy comes up, I just think back to his draft Mr. day Bong when he was, like fell down the boards because of that gas mask. It was hilarious. Dude, I, I he should have rose, but that's all right. <laughs> uh, for real, like obviously, he didn't like to have fun. I mean, he's got good lung capacity. What what do you hate not here, coaches? Come on. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so we'll, that's, that'll be another close one. Um, to probably the closest of the, of the match. No, you know what? Chiefs and Bills are also gonna be close, but that's okay. that's good. That it's gonna either be close or it's not. <laughs> and uh, so headed to this other one, Tampa Bay Buccaneers traveling out to the Lions. Um, you know, just stellar reporting by whoever asked this question yeah. to Todd Bowles. Hey, are you preparing your team for a cold, frigid game? Like, is there any extra preparation? And I just absolutely love Todd Bowles. The dude just literally sat there for a second. He's like, I mean, you realize they have a dome and we can play indoors, so we're going to be in the cold for about 20 seconds. I think we'll be okay. Hey, hey. Getting off the bus and that's How does that lady have a job, dude? How do you have a job? That 20 seconds is crucial, man. (laughs) You don't have a sweater on and you get the sniffles. You're over. Frost, frostbite, dude. Seriously. Fucking hilarious, <laughs> dude. Oh my god, dude. How did that lady have a job? Although, but, uh, did you did you hear about uh um CJ Garden uh CJ Gardner? He goes Yes, I did hear this recently. Yeah. yeah. He, he said oh that if god. you did Tampa good QB, and that'd be a great group with Evans, Goblin, Gage. And Baker's response was, I don't think he's watched much film because Gage has been out all year. <laughs> it's hilarious, dude. And then, and then he was he right. was very crazy. He's like, he's a hell of a player, you know, looking forward to playing yeah. against him. But he's like, but right. maybe, maybe watch a little more film, bud. Dude, Baker, <laughs> Baker, Baker picking hilarious. up W's over here. Oh, yeah, you got to love it. It's, did pr- you it's know, pretty funny. Did you know that with his win over the Eagles, he now has more playoff wins since the Browns since 1995? <laughs> Which he yeah, has LeBron, the LeBron stat right there for you. He yeah, has the only Browns win playoff win since 1995. Right, right. It's freaking hilarious, dude. That's, that's so funny. Uh, I love Baker. I think he's absolutely a Bucks quarterback. I hope he stays. I think both both parties like each other. So hopefully we come to an agreement here. I, I would be um, shocked if he didn't get picked up. I would be too. But I guess we'll see. You never know with these things. But yeah, yeah. I do think Baker's our guy. I think we need to still petition about getting him commercials again. For sure. Yeah. For sure. He Set him up in the, in the pirate boat. It'll be great. Dude, like, he needs a hammock in the ship. Yeah. And that's where he lives. Yeah. Yeah. Get him a boat. Got, get, him a, get him in there. It has built in home defense. Anyway, all these shenanigans oh, it aside. To, it, has to, it has to. It has to. It has to. Without well, a For sure. So, oh, agreed. Shenanigans game, aside, though, the game. Um, Lions look, you know, they got it done. Uh, they looked amazing that first half. I would say they they definitely slowed down in the second, but then again, their defense stepped up. Um, you know, Amase Brown absolutely torched us last time we played them, so we're going to have to find a way to contain him, which is always a little suspect with our secondary. But um, Zion McCollum played safety for us last last week against the um, against the Eagles, which worked out splendidly because our our other safety is definitely suspect outside of um outside of Winfield. We had Ryan Neal, Neal in there for most of the season, and the dude apparently could play in the box, but he doesn't do the thing that safety is supposed to do, which is cover people. Yeah, but when so, you play a trash can, I mean, dude, you know, what I mean? <laughs> come on now. When you play a team, you don't even want to be out on the goddamn field. 
Come on. Man. I mean, it was close ish <laughs> there, like, you know, end of second going into the third, and then Jalen uh, just decided to take a safety. He was like, I don't want to get rid of this. Ball. Okay, that was. I'm just going to hang on to this forever. That was horrible. That was that the was turning the point of the game. Asinine play I've ever seen in my life. But even before that, the last seven weeks, we have not looked like we want to play any no. sort of football. And th- I mean, this was the worst of it. Like, you could see people just. Just not even tackling. They're like doing just a little hug. And like, I mean, it was just, it, it comes down Horrendous to pitching tackling. and it comes down to everything else. And I know they said Nick Sirianna is going to stick around and get new assistants and stuff. That's fine. But good God, did you, how do you represent your team and just play that embarrassing? I mean, that's horrible. It was Which, ridiculous. congrats again. Confident congrats. Thank you. You sir. guys won. So I, hope, I really do hope Baker pulls this off. I'm picking the Lions, but. I I'd love to see Baker do this because he finally I hopefully he finally found a home, dude. He's a great I not a great. He'll never be, you know, Peyton Manning, a legend like that. He might be. You never know. But I think he's more of a Brett Favre trajectory. But than, than exactly, those guys. man. Like he'll he'll have a name for himself, and he needs a home. And once he's those, comfortable at the place he's at, he'll be I, all right. Those biting words. Ooh. Maybe all right. So hopefully he doesn't have the off field career of Brett Farb. But you don't want him to pop have... Hooker sets and send nudes Look. on Twitter? Come on now. Come on. No, or or like apparently <laughs> fuck over the whole allegedly, Mississippi State allegedly. or whatever. Like hopefully yeah, he's going to involve those kind of shenanigans. Look. <laughs> allegedly. Look, look, look. <laughs> allegedly. Talk to me when Baker gets loaded on perks and wins back to back to back MVPs. Okay. I'm just saying no know. one's done it and no one will do it because they won't do it on perks, dude. If they do it on perks, they'll be he's all right. doing it on some other kind of because he's been banged up as hell and still out there playing and he still runs like a man who's not injured. So I do love you to run see like it. a dude, man on Viking. The dude was like the dude was like stiff arming eagle eagles <laughs> the dude was out there stiff arming eagles defensive lineman. It was crazy. The guy the guy came to play and uh, he's gonna need to again if we're gonna have a chance to get Lions here because they are absolutely a solid team. Their defense tore us apart last time. Um, but this is the revenge tour. You know, we already took care of the yeah. Eagles, and uh, now we're coming after the Lions. So See, I think like, they beat us back to back weeks. So it's fitting that we're playing them again back to back. Uh, no, not back to back weeks. Um, but all right, fact checker. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, but. Or sorry, I'm on the lines. I apologize. But I think one thing that really confused me, I was talking with someone else about this this morning. I, the thing that's throwing me off about this game is, you know, I've it's not me being a Green Bay fan that's ripping the Lions, but like, let's just be honest. Let's look. I've, I've said this for several weeks now. The Lions have not looked like the same team since that loss to the Ravens. Yep. They absolutely manhandled. Like, they went from properly handling teams to losing or beating teams by one possession. Yeah. For the remainder of the season. Yeah. <laughs> they, lost so, to the, they lost to the Bears. It was it, it, it was a rough like, little couple weeks there for them, absolutely. Yeah. You know, they lost to the Packers. They lost to the Bears. Barely beat the Vikings twice. Beat, barely beat the Bears once. You know, lost to the Cowboys. Um, their so only, they beat. Their only grand win since the Ravens beat down was that game against Denver. That they won forty-two to seventeen, and that was when we thought Denver was on an upswing, and we expected that one to be close, and it wasn't. Right, true. But I'm kind of stuck with it's not so much the Lions, because I expected that game last week to be close with how the Rams have been playing. I thought they were too hot to not be in that game at any given time. But was it Tampa played that well, or did the Eagles play that bad? Dude, you I know, genuinely think we and, played. And I'm not, I think y'all played I'm well. I'm not no, no, trying no. to take anything away from Tampa because clearly they took care. They took advantage of every opportunity the Eagles put out in front of them. But, like, I still thought Tampa was going to win this game. I don't think that was ever in question. But I didn't think they were going to win by, you know, like, t- what, 23 or whatever. Oh, God, yeah. Like, I, I expected it to be much closer. Maybe a – you know, a 32 to, like, 25, something in that realm. So, sure. you know, it, that, that's what's throwing me off with this. Um, I expect this. It would have been, be wor- been worse if the Tampa receivers didn't drop, like, a million passes. And, oh, dude, it would have been a lot worse. Mike Evans could have had two touchdowns. Easy. For easy. real. And easy. that's what is also kind of, you know, if they can't fix the problems of dropping passes, you know, like you said, 
the Lions have a great defense. Yeah. So they're not – I think they're less inclined to give you that second opportunity For that sure. the Eagles were giving them last week. Yeah. So, you know, and, and, you know, we, we talked about before when we covered the Eagles-Cardinals game where that was kind of them playing really soft in the secondary over the middle. You could run slants all day looking like a person playing Madden on rookie. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I – I, I like what Tampa's going to bring to the table. Um, and this is when I might flip-flop by Sunday, but um, right now I'm leaning more towards Detroit, yeah. but, I'm not, but I'm not counting Tampa out by any measure. No, I don't think anyone really is. I'm definitely the homer here, so I'm sticking with the Bucks. I'm getting back to all those drop passes by Mike Evans. I think he's the type of guy to get pissed off with that performance and come mm-hmm. back much stronger. He's done that for us in the past. So I'm looking for a big game out of him. Kate Otten, for as big of a game as he had, he also had like two drops. He dropped the opening touchdown, which we haven't scored in an opening possession yet, like a touchdown. And dude straight up dropped it in the end zone. So I want to say he's going to have a bounce back to the game, but he's uh, he's been up and down as a second year tight end or third year, second year, I think. But anyway, um, he's been up and down. So we're going to need a strong performance out of all the boys to have a good chance at this. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think the Bucks have more than a chance at this game. Yeah. I, I mean, like one thing that kind of concerned me with Detroit last game against the Rams was the Rams actually had more total yards than the Lions. True. So it was just, they made more of their time, uh, especially for a game that had zero turnovers either way. Yeah. They just they just took advantage of it. Had and maybe if Matthew Stafford wasn't halfway dead by the fourth quarter, it might have been a different game. Exactly. So, you know, I think that's worth noting that if they're all their running game, 79 yards, their passing game was like in the 250. So in the grand scheme of things, like on paper, they should they probably should have lost that game if you read the stat line. Whereas, you know, Tampa balled out. Again, how much of it was the Eagles just not being there to Tampa properly taking care of it? But, you know, Tampa has had a very strong running game all season. So I'm curious to how the Lions' off or defense is going to take care of that. Yeah. Uh, I don't think the Lions' offense have had, has had a stellar running game lately uh, by any measure. So well, I had a decent run game this last week. David Montgomery was, was doing pretty good. They had 79 total yards. Oh, well, I guess I'm wrong on that. Give it to Gibbs, good. dude. Give uh, it to Gibbs. I'm but I saying. think but I think you're Give right. Like I think you're right. Like Tampa has a good scheme up front that they're gonna bring pressure and can golf handle the pressure. Yeah. And, and we saw issues in that in both of those Viking games towards the end of the year. Um, among some other games, but you know, if they can keep up in their face, much like how I feel about the 49ers game, I think Tampa has a good shot to, to pull it off. Yeah, I agree. It's going to be a very tight one. Andrew, where are you going with this one? I think you said Lions, right? I'm, I don't know. It's it's like one of those things where it's kind of both ways because I don't know. I think I'm going to go. I've been going with the underdogs. Why not? Let's go with the Bucks. You know, Ooh, okay, let's do it. Let's do Hell it. yeah. Why not? But I guys. also do think a lot of it, though, is, I mean, the Eagles just – that there wasn't even a team out there. You know, they're, they're playing five, ten yards off. Or even if they're right there, they're tackling. They're not tackling. They're giving them a little bear hug, and that's it. And yeah. Shoulder How checks. much of that was real. But also, at the same time, I do feel like Baker took that like a serious game, and he played. And, dude, if Mike Evans catches both those passes, the yeah. one guaranteed touchdown – that's mm-hmm. seven more points right there. The other one, maybe not a touchdown on that play, but two, three plays later, the way we play, probably would have been a touchdown. So, it, you know what I mean? And Mike Evans isn't going to yeah. sit there and dwell and say, oh, I, I dropped these two. I got to mope around. He, he'll get out there. He'll do his thing, and he'll fix that, and he'll probably have like a two or three touchdown game somehow. <laughs> yeah, I'm expecting a big you know? game out of Mike for sure. It, yeah, like you said, he he plays well probably when he's pissed off and mad about that. He's going to go out there and he's going to fix that and yeah. make it work. So let's go with the Bucks, man. Why not? <laughs> Love it. But, I mean, obviously not to discount the Lions. They also got a ball no. on their team named Amon St. Brown, who 
I know he's going to bring it. He had another good game against the Rams. I think this guy is playing like a man possessed right now, so we'll see what happens. But like you said, if you can get to if you can get to golf, then he won't have that time to make that happen. So true. Also, they got hit at Hitchinson too on uh, defense. That dude's an animal. So you know, he goes yeah. Yeah. Home, so. I I don't like playing him twice a year at all. Yeah, no, it's kind of scary, dude. Because he's, 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 he's a smart guy. <laughs> He's definitely coming into his own, absolutely. Two big sacks against the uh, Rams, one that almost killed Shafford. So, yeah, they're definitely uh, – <laughs> Yeah, dude, yeah, that, that – dude, he should have been looked at after that. that oh, my bad. God, dude, it was crazy. We, <laughs> way, we won't get into it again. Just that look. His hand and eye. Just that, that look. Bad. That look was so scary. That's all I'm and saying. And his hand, his hand did like the – like the Mar thing where it just yeah. rose up where it was. Well, it, was re- it didn't help that he already busted it open, basically punching some dude in the helmet with a throw. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. a good way to lead into Chiefs and Bills with Patrick Mahomes. What shattering the other week and they let yeah. him play like two plays. No. And then and then they didn't flag the Chiefs because they had no timeouts. Yeah. But what I was yeah, gonna say about that one, Dan, because you mentioned this last week and I forgot to say uh, and Baker also state. had a palm. Baker also had a palm with his helmet though, as far as the, the earpiece in it not working, and they did also let him just exchange yeah. it in, in the middle of the, play, of the game and they didn't because he said I couldn't you hear you or whatever he was doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, he also changed out his helmet mid game. So I don't know if I've heard about this rule, but I'll take your word for it. You're an informed guy. I mean, again, we've seen them let a lot of things go by the wayside. Um, sure. So, you know, it's not like the original time that the Browns tried to do the. QB, talk to the QB where they're picking up taxi signals in New York. But uh, that's all another story for another time. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, absolutely. Well, this Chiefs uh, Bills game is interesting, man. Um, obviously, Patrick Mahomes is on the road for the first time in his playoff career, which is freaking insane. Um, but he's going right into Buffalo, who is a team who's, who's given them a battle ever since the, the AFC crown has been up for grabs. You know, Josh Allen played out of his mind against the Steelers. Um, if he can do it again against a very, very good Chiefs defense, it's going to be interesting. He's got his work cut out for him, absolutely. And honestly, getting back to that game earlier in the season, if Tooney knows where to line up, the Chiefs probably would have won that game. So that's uh, it's, uh, it's going to be very interesting. But I think I got to go Bills here because I want them to win. And, um, you know, they're, they're at home. You know, they – Should be able to get this done. It's going to be close all around. I think this is going to be a really interesting one. I like that they're ending out Sunday night with this one. So, and it's at 5:30, so we don't have to stay up like super late to watch this. So that'll be good. Uh, yeah, I'm going. I'm going Bills on this one. They should have Gabe Davis back, right? He was injured for this last one, but it was pretty close. I think. Yeah, I think he'll be back. You had Stephon Diggs over there stealing water from the Steelers, so he's good to go. (laughs) I saw that. (laughs) He's excited. Uh, and and that Bills defense is coming together a little bit. You know they got shredded at certain points in this year, but they are they are coming together a little bit. And I think they're going to have a strong performance if they can shut down Patrick. I don't know if field goals is going to be enough this time. That's my biggest concern for the Kansas City offense. It seems like the last couple of weeks they've been too reliant on Harrison Bucker sure. to get them through games. Um, you know the Bills get down the field. Sure, sometimes they set up field goals. I'm not saying that they don't, but I think their conversion rate into the end zone has been far better than the Chiefs uh, the last handful of weeks and truthfully majority of the season per se. But, um, you know, I just, you know, that, that Bill's defense was flying around against the the Steelers, uh, albeit it was a Steelers. It was a team that limped into the playoffs. Sorry, Ziggy, but it's the reality. Um, but that being said, I just – I don't know. I'm not. I'm not buying that Kansas City is going to go in there and and win. Um, yeah, you know, sure they, they they did have a good road record this year, so I'm not I'm not going to discredit that. Buffalo also had a great home record this year, but I don't know. It's just much like the Rams. Although the Rams couldn't pull it out, the Bills are getting hot at the right time, and I just don't see them now. Interesting enough. This is only the second time Patrick Mahomes has played it at Buffalo. Uh, their first matchup was 2020 in in the Bills, and the next one, two, five games are all at Arrowhead. Oh wow! So interesting. 
interesting take there. 2020 was their first matchup against each other. But um and Taylor's gonna be there, don't forget. Probably yeah. <laughs> it's gonna drive the ticket prices up. <laughs> but I I mean, I don't know. I just I, I feel like, girlfriend, man. That girl shows up to every game. Uh, Bruce knees and all. Anyway, um <laughs> Oh, that's great. That's so, uh, fucking humor for so, you right there. I love that. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, you know, I, you know, uh, people love talking about is this the new Brady Manning matchup? Maybe who knows? But uh, you know, something's got to replace it. And you know, I think you know, for once, Allen's going to get his own. But I just think that you know. It, the Bills don't seem as sloppy. That, that's yeah. my biggest thing. That's they don't point. seem as sloppy. Yeah, they're not counting on a rookie receiver and uh, Rice to carry the team. So we'll see what happens there. Um, so what are you so you saying? You're taking the Bills for this one? I'm going Bills on this. I've said since the beginning of the playoffs that if Kansas City goes to Buffalo, they won't survive. Fair enough. And it's crazy to say, but they are the underdogs in this one, Andrew. Does that mean you're leaning towards the Chiefs? No, this one I think I'm going Buffalo. I think okay. the time – I think it's time. And we'll know. I mean, Josh Allen's going to be one of two things after this one. You know what I mean? He's going to be the guy that chokes in the playoffs every year. Or he's going to be the guy that – I mean, the line's um, Buffalo by three. Yeah. True. Okay. Is that, I mean, dude, I think – yeah, I don't know. I think the defense of the Chiefs is electric. I mean, those guys have been they playing well so all year. Right They've been carrying the team all year. But you're also going to against Buffalo's defense, who is can play just as well on that caliber. And I think with all the snow they just got, they're going to be fired up to get up there, get to the stadium, and do their thing, and you know jump on tables like they do. But um, they'll go and I they're at home. I think they'll be all right. I think Josh Allen pulls this one off. Um, I want to see Patrick Mahomes lose. So who you know, doesn't? I mean, let's I, go with that one. And Kel, and I mean like. I'm not saying you, you you let Kelsey open on every play. You can't do that. But, like, he he has not been the same person he's been the last couple of weeks. There's no way. No, you know that, I mean? that Swift pussy apparently um, is uh, driving him a little crazy. And I think with Making Diggs has been – I'm not saying Diggs, is, Diggs has been quiet the last couple of weeks, but he's been S- slightly quiet to, to where he's – Oh, shoot. It's oh, time to awesome. go for it, you know. Uh, all right. Yeah, I think it's Jake's time to come alive in a game and give the fans what they want, you know. So let's go Bills on this one. Sweep. The first one of the night. We all are <laughs> picking the Bills for this one. Uh, I think we're we're all hoping we're right. We'll see what happens. It's gonna be a dandy matchup. We got some we got some good ones this weekend, boys. I hope they actually turn out to be, you know, what they're supposed to be because uh, it was mostly blowouts last week. So I think we're all hoping for a little bit closer yeah. games. Hey. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Just remember what Chris Berman used to say. Nobody circles the wagons like Buffalo mm. Bills. All right. Well, yeah, solid, t- solid stuff, guys. Um, anything else we should mention here? Oh, yeah, I guess uh, Mike, Mc- Mike McCarthy is officially safe in Dallas, which makes sense. And so they're not totally, totally per- they're not totally Sirianni. Sirianni safe too. So also safe. How do you feel about that, Andrew? As an Eagles fan, are you happy about that? I mean, if we get the right coordinator and coordinators in there, we'll be all right because we did just fine when we had Steichen in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. He ran the offense, he did his thing, and it's not like we're lacking talent. You know what I mean? Right. Now AJ Brown's definitely not going to be an Eagle next year. There's no way, but. They him removing like that from, you know what I mean? Him removing that from his Instagram and everything. There's no way. And he's kind of looked out of it the last couple of weeks, just like some of the team has. But um, I give him another year. You can't, it's, you can't get rid of him at the same time. You know, Super Bowl and two playoffs, you know. That's what I mean. mad about that. Not, fans fans, you know, fans are getting s- very impatient nowadays. And it's like, yeah. Eagles fans, yeah. calm down. You guys were just in the Super Bowl. I mean, didn't he lead you to the playoffs the two years before that? So it's like, maybe yeah. some deep so pressure there, boys. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's tough. It's frustrating. But hey, look, you can't be the, like, you, Yeah. It, it's all about the what have you done for me lately. Apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Just like and, America. Yeah. 
It's amazing. <laughs> that, I mean, it just goes to show it's amazing that guys like, you know, Belichick, Tomlin, Harbaugh have last. Well, I know Belichick left, but it's amazing that those guys lasted, lasted yeah. as long as they did, given how much some of these teams love changing people out. So, well, I think a lot of it's like the Sean McVay's, those younger guys now that come in first year or two, they do get all the way there almost, or you know, do get there. Or they do. And then they expect it now. They're like, oh, you don't have to be around for, you know, this many years. But to, you know, do what Tom Brady and Belichick did, you can't just do that overnight. That's not just going to happen over three years, you know. True. True, true, boys. Well, we'll find out what happens. It's going to be a heck of a divisional round. The uh, playoffs are going to be secure. The championship will be decided after this weekend. Who will be in there? We'll find out, man. It's getting down to the wire here. Super Bowl trophy is within sight. But we here at Sports by Company are calling it a night. Later, guys.